Hey you guys, Trey Punch Joey, and today we're watching reacting to episode two of Riverdale season two. Um I don't think I actually mentioned it in the last episode, but Riverdale's actually been boosted up to 22 episodes a season, which is insane. I'm kind of like worried that there might be slow points throughout the season with 22 episodes, because even with 13 episodes in season one, there were about two or three episodes that were fairly just average. Um whereas the rest were kind of like really good or great. So hopefully there's not gonna be like any like really slow points with 22 episodes. There probably will be, but um yeah we'll wait and see also wearing uh the roach alice roach's uh shirt i'll leave a link to her channel down below it's gonna be my new favorite reaction shirt because uh you know she's like the best gaming channel you're ever gonna find and um that booty though no but she's a great channel so go check her out i'll leave a link to her channel down below but yeah we're gonna be wearing this probably in 90 percent of reactions now look how cool he is he's so cool <laughs> And we've got Theo with us this time, so it's gonna be a gonna be a fun day today watching Rune Uh so if you don't leave a like if you're new, remember to subscribe and obviously if you do want the full uncut reaction to episode two, a link to the Patreon will be down below. But for now my friends, let's do this. Now the latest casualty in the town's ongoing battle against darkness. Oh no, 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 no. Oh wow. Everyone did used to chili, yeah, that's really sad. What are you doing up? I was gonna bring you breakfast. Oh, oh you being cute. I gotta get to moving around sometime. A little early for that, isn't it? Dinner pool night. Uh, no, I'm good. You leave before breakfast. You come home after your mother and I have had dinner. I can't remember the last time we've had a meal together as a family. I can. You're in prison, mate. It was at the Dakota the day you got arrested. Oh. How about never, Dad? Very <laughs> good for you. The sass on Veronica so far this season. No He's on point, I do have to say. Should be your priority. I'll take point on helping Pompte. I'll help too, Betty. <laughs> Anything to get me away from my parents, I'm in. Another B and V team up. Should really make a video game about you guys. <laughs> I got the jet. I'm off to meet my dad's court appointment. These are the cute scenes the where they're all together. The just Cohen. talking. It's adorable. Jug, I'm gonna draw some flyers off to Sheriff Cohen. If your guys are out there patrolling, Sheriff, let me go with them. I can help. Oh, no. Don't seem like the police department is taking this very seriously, like, at the moment. Copy that. Just give me a sec. Maybe they are. We'll see. Let us do our job. Take care. Can only see how this is, uh... The alarms. Let's see how this is facing. Let's face talk about the damn deal. <laughs> You insane? You're the one that looks like a dream warrior from Nightmare on Elm Street 3. <laughs> what did the lawyer say? This thing, like, do you remember Noah? Is in, was in Noah in um, Scream? When he referenced films and stuff, it was just cringy. When Jughead does it, it's like, my boy. It's bad. I did like Scream, though, by the way. Not my parents. dad's facing 20 years, Archie. The lawyer thinks he should take the deal, and if he doesn't, and the case goes to trial, he could be facing 40 years. I know you've oh. been sleeping in your room, so where exactly have you been spending your nights? Mayor McCoy, you remember this moment. Because this is the moment that you turned your back on both Pop Tate and my father. Here's the thing about Drugger's father. Hear me out. <laughs> he's not an innocent guy. It's not like he's going to prison and he's completely innocent and stuff. Mitch, the clumps do. Why do you need up as one of bread? Until the guy who shot my dad is caught, and I want to be on high alert. So can you help me or not, Reggie? I got you, Andrews. We can't let the slap in the ass. Yes, we need Reggie. To host an event at Pops that reminds the town of simpler times, like a throwback to when the shop first opened its doors. Betty, chicken noodle soup with my dad after ice skating, grilled cheeses with Archie on the last day of summer vacation. Oh, for the first time, it's where I first scene by the yeah, first time. Again. V. It's where I met you for the first time. May I speak to you? This guy. Daddy. Daddy. Daddy? Planning a dance under an event to keep pops from closing. Well, he's gonna try and help me. Yeah. yeah. He's gonna use it. I tried going to legit. I even talked to the mayor. It's just it feels like the whole system is rigged against us. Oh, Betty. I did not emerge from the frozen depths of Sweetwater River, nor the flames of Thornhill, to allow my vixens to sling milkshakes at some death cursed diner. The answer is a double cherry on top now. Okay, Cheryl. Was found. 
murdered in her Greendale home last night. Oh, my God. It's that God, that's her I know some of you were students of hers. Forgive the office space, but I'm, I'm a firm believer in low overhead. <laughs> Plus, I like being close to my clients. Your clients being the serpents? Well, I was and still am a serpent. Oh, we got that cool soul there. They put me through college. I do you a favor. One day, maybe, you do me a favor. Okay. Let me know how it goes, will ya? Saw your dad to wear a tie. You're twitching, Archie, which means this must be serious. Uh -huh. So a little thin as the patron saint of lost causes, aren't we, Betty? Oh, you can cross saving pops off your list. Oh, haven't you heard? Pop Tate is selling the chocolate shop. No. What? To no. Two, and you'll love this, an anonymous buyer. That's Ring the bells? Gonna be Veronica's dad or my name. Oh, I'll take those for you. Oh, thank you, Smithers. Save it for her. Veronica, I'm not buying pops. Now, please, lower your voice and sit so we can speak civilly. <laughs> all right, mate, speak you civilly. Really talk, Dad? That's all I've wanted a fair hearing to explain myself. A letter threatening you, Mom. Oh, shit. the kind of man you're letting back into our lives. Problem is, her mind is deluded, so... What? Your father didn't write this letter. Okay. I did. You two deserve each other. Well, don't give that a lot of fraud because Marty and shit. It's like, no, mate. Oh my god, they're worse than Hello. Betty's parents. Like, Hi, Welcome to Thistle House. The only Hello. person that's legit, like, full on just nice parents Hello. seems to be Archie. FP didn't kill Jason. Okay? That was your dad. You saw the video. If it were up to me, I'd watch FP fry in the electric chair. We need this sordid chapter okay. closed. Forever, and FP is the last loose end to tie up. Probably not the killer, though, is it? It's me. Jesus. What the hell are you doing here? Pretty shot, you dude. Uppers, clearly, the last thing you need. She lost the Andrews. <laughs> You're the one here wearing this hood. It's called a prank. I didn't expect you to attack me. Oh, shut up. What if I had been the guy? Huh? You would have just tackled him? Yeah. The autopsy showed that she was strangled. With something the killer grabbed on hand. A cello bow, of all things. Oh. There was a struggle. She she fought real, back. But Archie, this was a crime of passion. Pop, have you officially sold the diner? The contract's being drawn up. Do not sign it. Okay? Do not give up, either of you. I can fix this. Sorry. Yes, I, Betty. I, I will fix this. Joker, that looked there like, that's my girl. He just knows. <laughs> okay. Are you threatening me? This? No. <laughs> no, this is fun girl talk. Oh, Betty, oh, Betty. Could save a man's life. Maybe everyone's right. Maybe I am going crazy. I was going crazy, dude. I just, oh my god. We're not going to find out who the killer is, in, at least till like a mid season finale kind of thing. Not yet. Let's pray Cheryl comes through for them. FP's guilt has been blown out of proportion to satiate my father's suicide denied us. My father threatened him. We overheard them talking in Daddy's study. Daddy said he would hurt Jughead if FP didn't comply. Wow. Is that extenuating enough? In light of these revelations. Okay. 
Quick, I thought she'd like hold the grudge for any single episode or two. Trees make a charitable contribution. I guess why drag it out though? <laughs> guess it would get to the point where it's a bit boring and annoying if it went on too long, so. Oh, and I'll look at To the Lodge family for a donation they just made that gives us a little cushion to weather any storm that might come up. He's such a happy guy, I love him. I love Pops. Most underrated character in TV history. As of five minutes ago, we uh, owned this diner. In exchange for silence, I told Tati to stay on as his manager. <laughs> nice to have you back, Carl. <laughs> <laughs> Hermione, thank you for saying you wrote that letter. Veronica never would have forgiven me for that. Yeah, I knew that was bullshit. I knew it was bullshit. Uh, what? Where's Smithers? Oh, he didn't tell you? His mother fell ill, so he went home overseas to care for her. No. Did you leave a forwarding address? I'll try a truck with Nancy. Thank you, Andre. They're already... No, they're already playing games, like... in. She's forgiven him for like the past for like five minutes ago. It's like, dude, come on, Cheryl. Cheryl Veronica. Do not contact her again. If she reaches out, don't respond. Oh my god, she's not want to be in bed with a snake charmer. Why? Yeah. Okay, well let's walk away, I guess. Alright, Oh, that's a gun and a half. <laughs> Fuck. These two random kids die. To be blamed on Reggie. Why would you kill two random teenagers? Jesus! Why? Like, why? Oh my god. This season, don't want to hold back on a. Uh... Straight up just murdering people, so we had Archie's dad almost be killed, then Grundy and now two random teens which we've never even seen before, so not really bothered about them too, but it's just, it's just weird how the, I didn't think we'd get another murder so early, so there we go, straight into the next detective case, I guess. Uh, there we go, guys, that is episode two of uh, Riverdale season two, another really great episode, like as of season one, uh, episode one as well. Uh, I, the thing about this season so far is I like everyone's story. Like uh, Betty, Betty's probably hasn't got like a main overarching story at the moment. It's just for her. She tried to save Pops and she did in this episode. And that was that. Um, but Veronica, she has the two parents to deal with. Uh, Jughead has his dad to deal with as well as the serpents. And Archie obviously has to protect his dad as well as he's kind of got the main story kind of going on as well with like the whole murder and what's uh, trying to find out who this killer might be. So... They're already, I'd say Betty so far needs like a main story because last season she did have her sister uh, but th at the moment we haven't seen her sister this season yet but as long as she gets her own little story that'd be kind of cool. It's only episode two so I'm not really like bringing, bringing it down for that I'm just saying it's like she hasn't got her own story which is weird because everyone else kind of has. But Veronica, her being sassy to her parents, she forgave them quicker than I thought she would but like I said earlier in the episode I think that probably might end up being a good thing, but they're already playing games, like they've already bought Pops, brought Pops when they said they hadn't. Um, and something's obviously happened to Smithers. It's just like the, the uh, what do you call it? It's like a caretaker, I don't really know. But he just kind of magically disappeared. It's a bit like, okay. I think that was because he went, like at the start of the episode, when it was, Smithers tried to get Veronica to leave out the building a different way. I don't think the dad took too kindly to that, so. I, you can get the sense how Smithers didn't really like the father being there, so 
there is that it's really a bit awkward Archie I, I like Archie so far this season like he, season one he definitely annoyed really annoyed me at times and he was the weakest out of the four for me um, he still probably is but I like him a lot more than I did um, a bit like before I really liked him in the finale of season one but like before that towards the end of season one he kind of got did some annoying stuff but at the moment I'm really liking his character like wanting to defend his dad's kind of cute buying the gun might be a silly idea but i don't think he's crazy and i i understand where he's coming from like it seems a bit if the wallet has disappeared that'd be the only that's the only thing that i'm like okay i'll check and see where you come from the wallet has disappeared so the the killer if the killer does have it would have all of his information so i reckon it'll be the wallet that will turn up that will give the killer away at some point um and i reckon it won't happen until like around the mid-season finale i hope it's not 22 episodes trying to find out who the killer is uh, but yeah, I do think we'll find out in the mid-season finale. Um, assuming they have a mid-season finale, I don't know if they will, but with 22 episodes, they probably will. They'll end it for around the Christmas break. Um, so yeah, I think that's everyone. Jughead, like, he's, he's got himself into some trouble. I'm glad his dad's out. Like, we didn't get five episodes of trying to get his dad out. So, so, so far, they've actually quickened a lot of the stories that would typically take a, long, a, a few episodes to do. They've got them all done fairly quickly, so pretty well paced so far. I'll say that at least. Um, Riverdale always has been but like I said because this was 22 episodes this season I thought they were going to drag certain things out but so far it doesn't seem to be but we are only on episode 2 so maybe uh, I won't be saying that by episode uh, 6 or 7 uh, but yeah rating for episode I'm going to go another 8.2 8. out of 10 I think it was as good as the first episode uh, yeah a lot more going on so I'm really excited for this season I, I, I love Riverdale I think it's actually a great, a great show so Thanks for watching there, guys. Like I say, Alice's uh, channel will be down below if you're into like gaming channels or just great people in general. <laughs> Go check out Alice's channel. I'll, like, I'll leave a link to it in the comments or something. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Until next week for episode three. Thanks for watching. Peace.